Ogre, I made a song for you, Make Me Famous. I cool mouse, ah, Ogre, that's my boy. Ogre's a good boy. I like Ogre. That, that Facebook and other tech companies are engaged in a pervasive pattern of bias and political censorship. Uh, there have been numerous instances with Facebook. In May of 2016, Gizmodo reported that Facebook had purposely and routinely suppressed conservative stories from trending news, including stories about CPAC, including stories about Mitt Romney, including stories about the Lois Lerner IRS scandal, including stories about Glenn Beck. Mm. In addition to that, Facebook has initially shut down the Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day page, has blocked a post of a Fox News reporter, has blocked over two dozen Catholic pages, and most recently blocked Trump supporters Diamond and Silk's page with 1.2 million Facebook followers after determining their content and brand were, quote, unsafe to the community. <laughs> to a great many Americans, that appears to be a pervasive pattern of political bias. Do you agree with that assessment? Senator, let me say a few things about this. No. First, I understand where that concern is coming from because Facebook and the tech industry are located in Silicon Valley, which is an extremely left-leaning place. And I, I, this is actually a concern that I have and that I try to root out <laughs> the company is making sure that we don't have um, any bias in the work that we do. And I think it is a fair concern that um, that people would so, would, so would me, at least me, wonder about. Let me ask this now, question: are, are you aware of any ad or page that has been taken down from Planned Parenthood? Senator, I, I'm I'm not. But let me just. Uh, how about moveon.org? Sorry. How about moveon.org? I'm not specifically aware of those. How about pieces. any Democratic candidate for office? I, I'm not specifically aware. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. In, in your garbage. testimony, you say that you have 15 to 20,000 people working on security and content review. Do you know the political orientation of those 15 to 20,000 people engaged in content review? Uh, no, Senator. We do not generally ask people about their political orientation when they're joining the company. So as right. CEO, have you ever made hiring or firing decisions based on political positions or what candidates they supported? No. Oh. Why was no. Palmer Lucky fired? That is a specific personnel matter that seems like it would be inappropriate to You just made to a here. specific representation that you didn't make decisions based on political view. Well, is that I, can, I can commit that it was not because of a political view. Baby. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, I just have a few words to say. I did a live stream yesterday where I covered some of my opinions on this, but I just wanted to take time. I know there's many of you that would much rather this format. Uh, been a l very busy with spring. I'm not going to go into that. My problems are not your problems. I do, however, constant viewer, apologize for any break in the the entertainment, the infotainment, whatever you consider this madness that I bring to you periodically. I, Mark Zuckerberg just lied. I, I'm sure that Ted Cruz knew who he was talking of. And, and he said, never fired anybody based on political orientation. Lie. I don't believe it. The only thing Facebook cares about is your political leaning. If you're a Muslim and you're talking about Christians are evil and they need to go, and I mean, you can use some really harsh language. In fact, I've seen things that could very easily be argued were calls to action from the dear old, um, you know, religion of peace, the Muzzies. You know, the ones that rape girls left and right in the UK and all over the place. Those people, that religion of love, they don't do anything. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm gonna let you know, I was carjacked, beaten, and left for dead. The three people were caught, they're in prison. They have vowed to kill me. They have vowed to have me killed. I've read the transcripts of their conversations from the jailhouse given to me by the district attorney and the head detective on the case. When I asked them, is this legitimate? They said, oh, you're reading it. It looks like they, they're trying to do it at the very least. And yes, that factored into their sentencing. They got, I think the least got 23 years. The one that got the most, 27 years in prison. But I don't want my name out there. 
And as I stated, yeah, you may see me as crazy. You can see my face. You don't know who I am. There's a million people that look like me in Michigan. There's a million people all over. I do take some precautions. And even if I don't, that's my business, where I take my risks. Facebook insisted on a photo ID in my name attached to my Facebook. I, t I give them, my lawyers sent them. The transcripts showed them that I wasn't joking. I wasn't just making it up. They did not care. Do they care about protecting people? Absolutely not. Do they care about putting across a certain political proselytizing? Do they care about promoting proselytization in one direction when it comes to the political realm? Absolutely. Diamond and silk are a danger to the community. Two round, pleasant black ladies that spend an inordinate amount of time on their hair and makeup. They are a threat to the community. You've got to be kidding me. That's a lie. That's a lie. I mean, Zuckerberg is a piece of garbage. I just want to take a little bit of time. You noticed that Ted Cruz mentioned uh, Chick-fil-A. Why is Chick-fil-A being persecuted by Facebook? They don't agree with same-sex marriage. The period. They just don't agree with it. Therefore, you can't have a, a Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day page struck down. Why do they dislike the Catholics? I am no lover of Catholics. I read the Bible. I'm, I'm a, somewhat of a scholar with the scriptures. I'm, you know, I'm just, that's the way it is. They spent years studying them. And Catholic Church, from everything I can see, is the beast power of Revelation 14. Uh, she, that is the dragon in Revelation 13 that the woman rides on. So I have no love lost for the Catholics, but should they be struck down? Why would they be taken down? Why would 24 different sites, Catholic sites, be taken down? They don't believe in abortion. Well, everything, I mean, then he goes down the list. Diamond and Silk, why would they be taken down? They are avid Trump supporters. Join me, folks. Just quit Facebook. I let it go. I've deleted all my accounts before this. I knew what a piece of garbage it is. I'm this close. If it wasn't for you, my brother common sense guy, I would not be on Twitter anymore. I hate Twitter. Dorsey is just as a big a cuck as Cuckerberg. They're you know, two peas in a pod. They are freedom hating, rights trampling, totalitarian propaganda mongers. I was taken down for uh, 24 hours or 12, I think it was 12 hours. I was taken down for 12 hours because I was attacked by some girls in the Women's March and because I attacked them in kind. In other words, I gave what I got. None, no, no, none of them I'm going to rape you or kill you, nothing like that. I just gave back. I called, They were calling me stupid and idiots. I was calling them stupid and idiots. I was only saying why. I was giving them, I was citing <laughs> references to show why I was saying they were morons. I got taken down. Why? Because they automatically side with feminism, with Islamists. They automatically side with the Taliban. Yes, the Taliban. They automatically go against my beloved motherland, Israel. They hate Israel. They'll let anybody say anything they want about Jews. I. They should, okay? I'm not saying they shouldn't. They'll let anybody say anything they want about Jews. The parentheses around everything, and the, the Jews did it, and Hitler didn't do enough. Never get struck down on... Facebook, not on Twitter, nowhere. But say something about the Telford rape. Well, I hope you don't have too much wrapped up in your accounts because you could get struck down. Mention that David Hogg is a whining crybaby with a hand up his butt like a Muppet being controlled by the insane left that has no ideas or original thoughts of his own. You might get struck down. But go on that side and say that Americans should get, they have done nothing wrong, should give up their God-given rights, not given to them by the states. Your freedom of speech is yours from God. Your freedom to protect yourself is yours from God. Your freedom to feel safe and secure on your person, property, effects, and papers is your right, given to you by the Creator, however you may define him or her. Yes, I was a little politically correct there, because we all have an idea in our heart there is a higher power that is where your freedoms come from not from mark cuckerberg not from any of these maniacs so 
In closing, boycott Facebook. Do away with it. You could bring this fool down low. All you have to do, stop signing in. Go to Gab. Gab AI, wonderful platform. There's others out there. Go somewhere else. Let it die. It is a stinking, festered cesspool. And remember, folks, this is just one ogre's opinion. You can forget all about it. Don't pay no attention to what I said. Forget about everything I've ever told you. Just remember this one thing. Be good to your friends. Be good to your family members. Be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friend, your family member, your loved one has done seems to be so huge, you'll never be able to forget about it. Because constant viewers, at a time you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life, and your billions of dollars, Mark Cuckerberg, will depart from you. <laughs> See you in church!